and welcome to another video with Speedbird Simdeck. This is a slightly different video today. We're going to help you with your flight planning and we're going to be using simbrief.com for this. This is a really straightforward online resource to help everybody with their flight planning done very, very quickly. As you can see, detailed website. It's a really quick process. But the beauty of simbrief.com is it allows you to import your flight plan directly into your MCDU on the A320 uh, fly-by-wire or the Phoenix A320, uh, as well as other um, aircraft that you may be flying. So the first thing you must do, visit simbrief.com and register for your account. You do that by going on register and create an account. It takes minutes and then once you've activated your email you'll receive an email activate your account you can then log in and you'll be met with this page again and it's really straightforward from here all you need to do is go to the dispatch page and the dispatch system and click there now once you're at the dispatch system you'll be met with this page here this tab is for creating a new flight and as, as is this one, they both do exactly the same thing. Edit flight is if you want to edit the last flight plan that you generated. So Simbrief will hold your flight plans and allow you to go back in, edit them and reuse them should you wish. My briefing is the last flight plan that you've generated. So the very last one that will take you straight there. My flights, that's all of your saved flights that will be held in Simbrief. My fleet is all of your aircraft when it allows you to view or modify the aircraft database. So if you're using the fly-by-wire or the Phoenix A320, it allows you to save that as a profile and use when you're flight planning. You'll see that in a second. The database, uh, information on airports, nav aids, weather reports, and a lot more. There's a lot more information in here, really useful. The user guide, uh, very very user friendly user guide there's a lot of detail in it and we'll show you how to do it really quickly today but if you want to look at the detail behind it this is where you do it and then obviously your account and it allows you to change your settings so let's get started click on create new account and you'll be met with the dispatch page this is where we complete all of the information that we need to create our official flight plan that can then be opened up in the Phoenix or the fly-by-wire A320. So airline, we are going to be uh, British Airways today, Speedbird, so British Airways. You'll notice I have used it before, so your save data does come up. Our flight number, I'm going to change that to 623-Alpha. So Speedbird 623-Alpha, that will automatically become our call sign. Today we're going to depart Gatwick and we're going to go to Echo Gold Papa Hotel, Edinburgh. Now you'll notice that you have to use the ICO codes. Google's your friend. If you're not sure of the airport code, just Google it and it will come up. Import that and Simbrief will automatically generate the flight for you. It will also automatically generate your Alterna Airport so our alternate airport is Echo Golf Charlie Charlie, which of course is Manchester. Now you'll notice next to the depart arrive and alternate, there's a cloud and that is the weather. So if you hover over that, it will give you the latest weather, the latest metal for each of those airports. So here we can see on the 20th at 1415 Zulu, wind, 250 degrees at nine knots, visibility 10,000 feet, uh, 10,000 or more, scattered clouds at 3,200 feet and 4,100 feet, temperature 10 degrees, 2.6, Q&H of 1007. So you have all of that information and it's there for your arrival airport as well. Now, of course, you don't necessarily need this because it will automatically um, be in your electronic flight bag but it's just useful just to check before you leave that is the up-to-date metal now the another good feature 
of Simbrief is, although this is on today's date, 20th of November, 2022, if I pull that down, I can change the dates and I can forward plan. So if I want to plan a flight that I'll be doing later in the week, this is where I do it. I just sit, select the date, 26th of November, and you can do the same for the time. Let's go, we're going to go at 17.30 hours. To reset, just hit the little arrow, the curved arrow, and it will automatically reset the time, 15.45 and the date. So I'm just gonna go back in, let's change that, 29th of November, 16.30. All right, so you can forward plan, which is really, really useful if you know you've got a flight coming up later in the week and you just want to do your planning, this is how you do it. Now, official plan layout, official flight plan layout, you can change, you'll see there, lots of different airlines that you can choose from. Um, EasyJet is in there as well. KLM, Qantas, different airlines are there. We are Speedbird, we're, we are going to be British Airways, so we are going to leave that. You can change your units to pounds if you want. Your fuel, you can you can change your contingency and your reserve fuel. Um, I don't tend to touch anything on this side other than the OFP layout. And then once you've got uh, all of these how you would like it, you can save it as a default and it will be there when you need it next time. Now. Again, I never don't tend to touch this. This is just sorting custom airframes by their registration. But the airframe dot drop down, you can see a whole list of aircraft there that you can choose. Now, obviously, you need the one that you will be flying and you can import some that are for your aircraft specifically. So you can see here the fly by wire A32 and X, the headwinds A330 and the Phoenix A320. Again, open the aircraft editor and you can uh, make those changes that you need to. We're going to fly the Phoenix today, so I'm going to click that. And what that does is it fills in this information for us based on the Phoenix airframe. Don't have to touch it, it's done for us. If you wanted to, you can change your registration and your cell cal code, but I wouldn't touch anything else. Now, if we come down here, it tells us our flight time is one hour 30. I can change that if I want to. I can make it longer or shorter. I'm not quite sure why you would, but it also gives you the departure runway and the arrival runway. That is the runway in use currently. If you want, you can add extra fuel. I always leave altitude to auto. Passengers, because I use GSX Pro, I will change that again just to drop down menu and today let's say we've got 156 passengers freight I'm going to leave I'm going to leave the zero fuel weight to work it out for me dispatch your name you don't need to worry that's my name there and my pilot ID again you can type in there and change it if you want to put any custom remarks in again you can add that it shows that I'm on the correct air rack cycle shouldn't need to change that and this is the route that it's given me but I can if I want to choose different routes there are a selection of suggested routes and all you do is click to use them I've always found that the route it gives me is the one it seems to work absolutely fine so I'm not going to worry too much Alternate airports as well. If you want to, you can add more. So at the minute it's just giving me one, but I can, I can add up to four um, and it will automatically give me uh, alternate airports as well as takeoff alternate and on route alternate. And then you get uh, the map of your route plus the alternate route into Manchester, which you can see there. Now, once we're happy, we've got all the information that we need. All you need to do is come back up to the top and click Generate Flight. And then Yes. A couple of seconds. And there we go. We have automatically generated our flight plan. 
So we have got Speedbird, 623 Alpha, aircraft type A320, flying from Echo Golf Kilo Kilo to Echo Golf Papa Hotel, Gatwick to Edinburgh, with an alternate of Manchester Echo Golf Charlie Charlie. Our cruise level today would be flight level 220, and it's actually on the 29th of November. Departing at 16.30, airtime of around 59 minutes, block fuel of 6 tonnes, no extra fuel. Our zero fuel weight is 58.8 tonnes. Our takeoff weight is 64.6 tonnes or 64.7 with rounding. And there is our routing and it even gives you your SID and your star. So our SID would be the Lambourne 6 mic departure and our star would be the MP1 echo arrival. So when it comes to programming, we have that information all ready to hand in the flight plan. Tells us the air act cycle, 22nd, 2211, 2022, 11th month, November. Our format of our flight plan is going to be uh, British Airways, units within kilograms. And again, there is your map. Now, if you scroll down even more, you get your official flight plan. So zero fuel weight, takeoff weight, etc. Your cost index, which is really uh, useful because you have to input it into your MCDU. But most of this information will be taken straight into your MCDU. You're not going to have to input much at all in terms of your flight planning. And it gives you your uh, latitude and longitude of your waypoints on the way. At the flight level, you will ideal flight level and so on you can see all the information there and then you have your route the winds oops there you go all of the winds and your profile your vertical profile now that's all well and good but you might want to print it this page won't print very well however Simbrief have thought of everything if you print view PDF and click that it will open up a new page and guess what there you go you have your flight plan in a PDF format that you can if you want print off I would advise against it because it's about 35 pages long so if you can avoid printing, I really would. But you've got all of your uh, meta there for London, Gatwick. And you have the same for Edinburgh and with all your alternates and your full pl flight planning and any warnings, any notice to airmen, any NOTAMs will also be included in this flight plan. Now, if you wanted to, you can pre-file your flight plan if you're on VATSIM, which is this button here. If you click that, you can send it automatically to VATSIM, then it's pre-filed for you. Or you can download the file to then be able to upload it to various aircraft later on. I don't touch the IPFS validate at all, but this is for European routes only. If you want to submit that, you can. And that's about it. You're ready to go because when you go into your um, aircraft and you go into your MCDU, in your init page, providing you have linked your SimBrief account to the aircraft, when you click init, it will automatically bring in your flight details from your flight plan. It's as easy as that. I hope that was helpful. Please don't forget, you can like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be really good if you could. Just hit the uh, subscribe button below. Um, and let us know if you want any other tutorials. More than happy to, to put some together. And the next one, I think what we'll look at is actually importing the SIM brief into the MCDU. It takes seconds and it means that you can be off the ground, in the air, within minutes. Hope you found that useful. Till next time, goodbye.